Hey you guys, welcome back to another day in the life vlog. So it is currently Sunday the 28th of March and I am preparing to go back to school. Um, I've been on spring break for the last two weeks and I have to tell you, I have been loving every moment. So we were supposed to go to Cancun, long story short, we didn't realize that Cash needed a passport book um, he has a passport card, not a passport book. So 24 hours before our trip happened, we had to cancel. We got a full refund. I know we're kind of like travel idiots. We didn't put that together, but it ended up being okay. We ended up spending like the entire two weeks at home together as a family. Scott had already taken off work. So it was just a blessing in disguise. Anyway, I am currently getting ready to return to school tomorrow. It is quarter four. I cannot believe that the school year is already almost over. Like we have two months left. It's just insane to me. Like literally from today, two months. Our last day of school is May 28th. Two months, eight weeks. It's just wild. So anyway, I'm preparing to return to school and then I'm hoping I can do a classroom vlog tomorrow. I have quite a few things to do in the morning. I'm getting a new student, so I wanna make sure I have all the supplies ready to go for her. Um, and then get everything set up for the week. I'm doing some pretty awesome centers this week, so I wanna show you guys what those look like. Tomorrow, I'm not gonna get all the stuff prepared. I'm taking a lot of stuff to school tomorrow. I'll show you what I'm bringing. Um, but tomorrow's just gonna be an easy um, vocabulary day, new vocabulary, new information, everything is brand new. We're teaching, I am teaching about earthquakes and seismic waves. So moving in towards um, the end of earth science and then going into all of our physical science standards for the rest of the quarter, gonna be super fun. Um, but I'll show you guys everything that I'm planning on doing. I wanna do a better job of showing you guys what I'm doing in the classroom. And yeah, so we're gonna see if I can do a better job at that. And then um, my channel's kind of moving towards like a, a real day in the life. So if I don't show a whole lot of teaching stuff, I'm hoping to incorporate everything that I deal with in my life. So gym, mom stuff, kind of everything that is this chaotic life we live. Um, so I'm getting ready for tomorrow. I'm filling up my water bottle so that that is done in the morning because what I'm going to do is make breakfast in the morning and um, probably won't eat it until around 10, 20. And then I already have my lunch cooked and ready to go. It's just some chicken thighs with some zucchini. I am starting this new diet. It's not even a diet. It's more of just like a change. It's called Brightline. If you've ever heard of it, give me a thumbs up. I'm just hoping to lose 10 pounds. So I think if I can do it for, you know, as my new lifestyle and just, you know, splurge every now and then, then I can really maintain a healthy weight. I'm not overweight by any means, but I'm definitely over what I used to weigh. So anyway, I'm filling up water here. It's like 10, 40 at night. I just finished up getting some things done before tomorrow, just on my computer, um, things that I didn't want to do in the morning. And I'm gonna go to bed. You ready to go back to school tomorrow? Hmm? Are you ready to go back to school? Shh. You ready to go back to school tomorrow, Teeny? Hmm? You ready to go back to school tomorrow? She's been so sweet, but she has been cooped up in this cage. She's gonna be real happy when she gets to be held and squeezed and poked all day, huh? Sweet girl. Are you guys ready for mommy to go back to school? Hmm? I don't think so. Are you ready? No? Personally, Cash is taking it really hard. He's gotten used to having mommy home for two straight weeks and he's like, mommy, you have to go to work tomorrow? I'm like, yes, baby, I do. He gets so sad. Um, so I decided that I'm going to try and bring one plant a day to school this week because I have so much that I'm taking to school tomorrow. A new stand-up desk, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, another desk that I'm not using in my house anymore that I could totally use as like a station table. And then I have all these plants that I need to bring back. All of the plants over here on the ladder need to go back to school. So I think I'm gonna just bring one plant a day this week. And so tomorrow we're gonna bring the arrowhead.
back to school. So I'm trying to not stress myself out. My car is already packed full of all the things I need to bring home to school. <laughs> and so all I have to do tomorrow is get up, make myself presentable and make my breakfast and go. And luckily my commute is only one minute. So I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early. Hey you guys, it's Monday. <laughs> 6.53 and I'm super glad I got here a little bit early because I realized when I walked in the door that Tina's cage is not put together. I just have to put these little boards in and um, get that ready. But I also have a crap ton more stuff to go get from the car. So I think what I'm gonna do is put Tina's cage together real fast and then run downstairs and grab my next load. Luckily I do have a big wagon to help with bringing up stuff. So let's uh, put this rat cage together real fast and then we'll go get that stuff. got all my stuff up, cart, and then my new desk, which I will show you guys in another video. Um, and now I'm sweating because I forgot how hot it is going up and down the stairs. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Very springy. Um, I got this skirt from Target the other day. I thought it would be really cute paired with a little bit of white tinnies and a jean jacket. So I just threw my Queen Dolly shirt on with it because the kids know I'm the t-shirt queen. So that is my outfit today. Ooh, I am mega zoomed in. Okay, so I have a few things I need to do. I need to make sure the date is ready to go. I need to make sure I have everything ready for today. And then once I have all of that set, I will kind of sit and relax and figure out my life. Because it's more important that I figure out today than my life. My life doesn't matter. Also, I only have about 15 minutes until kids arrive. So wish me luck. Fun little tip if you're ever making group pod like activity stuff always make two extra because I guarantee you there will be a team that loses something or accidentally throws something away and then you're in trouble so if you guys are new here I teach departmentalized science and social studies in fourth grade and so today my students are going to be learning about different seismic waves and once they're done learning about them taking notes on them they're gonna do a quick little sorting activity where they'll just put the type of wave and then its description in this little charty chart and then I will be checking it I just had to cut a couple of documents and now I'm gonna check to make sure my PowerPoint is still on point make sure that my notebook is filled out and then I'll be ready to go for the day so all I have left to do is just hang out and like clean up a little bit because I didn't leave it spick and span in here um, but yeah So one thing I really want to do before the week is over is take my flexi spot desk rising desk 
home with me for my office. I did get a different um, rising and falling desk, but it is on wheels, and I'm going to show you guys that in a different video. But I was thinking that this might be helpful for my desk at home since I'm not teaching online anymore. This desk is more for like if I was going to be standing a lot um, at this desk, and it would be purposeful if this desk were the one that I was like teaching from up front, but I just don't teach from back here. So, and I do have quite a few standing desks, so I am going to take my flexi spot home with me. And maybe I'll do that today. I'll just put it in the wagon and then it's ready to go. Um, but, oh, I do need to put my Google Classroom codes up on the board as well because every quarter I get a new or I start a new Google Classroom so that um, assignments and things are a lot easier to track and the kids don't feel clustered and stressed and anxiety because of all of the different um, assignments that were from throughout the year. That's just how my ADD mind works, and so I know that if any of my kids struggle with that, it is helpful. Then P wave right mm -hmm. thing. Okay. So, um, and then three of us. So the first one is um, okay. No, wait, okay. So let's do. We each get four. Okay, that's a good idea. And then here is one. Good collaborating, girls. Hey, Christian. Make sure you spread out the love so that everybody can participate. I am solid surface wave and solid liquid. Okay, so what is an S wave also known as? Uh, secondary. Good. Secondary. Good job, Eli. Wait, no. I said you place one. A whole bunch. So the kids are currently working on a sorting activity um, describing the three types of seismic waves. Okay. Tina is helping me check their answers and they're all staring at me weird because I'm vlogging yeah okay guys so the kids are now at special so I'm gonna just show you what we did today so I have a PowerPoint that I made um, before break that has all of the information that we learned today and it matched our closed notes that we took in our notebooks. I had the kids fill in empty word or sorry blank spaces with words and then we drew pictures of waves, some diagrams and the three different types. And then in a group of four because we are now able to pod them together, they can kind of collaborate in a way um, with being able to still socially distance and they organized this chart with the different um, characteristics of each wave. So that was kind of like a collaborative assessment. And all the teams did really well for my first class. So the kids are in be at specials for a while and then it is my lunch. So I do have the next about hour and a half off. And so what I'm going to do is just prepare for the rest of the week. I have everything pretty much ready, but I wanna make sure it's all set and ready to go. And my teammate Maria is gonna be coming in to hang out for a bit and work with me. So. Um, if you guys want to follow her, her name is Maria. She is Electric ELA on Instagram, and I will also link her account below. She's amazing. I just love her. So anyway, we're going to go and do a little bit of work, and then I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey, you guys. So it is officially the end of the day, and I am just getting ready to leave campus to go pick up cash from my next-door neighbor. She watches him on Mondays. Um, long story short, Cash got kicked out of preschool <laughs> because he wasn't napping and was being a little stinker. That's a whole nother story that I can share with you guys on my other channel. But, so I'm gonna go pick him up from um, her kid's gymnastics gym and then we're gonna head over to Mountainside Fitness where I work out every day. Hey you guys, so it is now 6.30. Cash and I are just getting home from the gym and we went to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's haul, show you guys what I got. So as I mentioned earlier, I am starting this Bright Line eating plan and that plan kind of just follows um, portion size control and then no flour and no sugar. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's to help me with my little Bright Line eating plan. 
All right, so this is everything that we got from Trader Joe's today. So I'll just kind of briefly walk you through it. Um, so again, no flour, no sugar. So try to go as low sugars as you can and then no flour. So you're gonna see a lot of cauliflower and vegetables. Um, okay, so I got some of these gyro slices. I really, really enjoy eating gyro meat. And then I got some cauliflower thins that Cash is currently crushing. Can you please let go? Can you stop? Thank you. What's that? That's mommy's. These are a great bread alternative if I wanted to do like an open-faced type sandwich or like make myself a pizza. My mom swears by these, so we got some of those. We got two bundles of bananas. Cash, you gonna have one? Yeah. Okay. Want me to open it? Yeah. Break it off. There you go. Come back for more when you're done. Okay. Okay. So we got two bundles of. What is it? What happened? What happened? You're standing on my toe. Ouch. Are you okay? Did you bite your tongue? You did? Are you okay? No. No, yeah. Listen to me. You do not kick the doggies. Move. No. Mommy, I need to move. Okay, why don't you move away? That's a good choice. All right, so we got two bundles of bananas. I absolutely love this dressing, the green goddess salad dressing. It is not focusing. Okay, well, I guess we're not focusing on that. The Green Goddess Salad Dressing. Mommy. I like to put that on top of this Crunchiferous Crunch Collection. I got some tzatziki Mommy. for my gyro meat. Some cauliflower crisps. Yeah. These are for dipping into my artichoke dip. And then for a snack, I got some of these chili garlic cashews, some strawberries for fruit. <laughs> Apple for fruit. You can have potatoes in the morning. So I planned on eating some of these hash browns. My mom actually um, gave me the idea for these. Um, obviously some eggs, a pineapple, because you can have fruit at like almost every meal. So pineapple, uh, potato fries for cash, cauliflower gnocchi, I thought that would be yummy to have one night if I wanted. Sweet potato fries for me, little pizzas for cash, some cookies. And then everything back here is for cash. So graham crackers, applesauce, yogurts, um, cheddar rockets, you know, all the stuff. I also got a package from Fashion Nova. So we're gonna open that right now and maybe we'll do a try on. Should we try them on? Yeah. Okay. Let's open it up and see what's in it. Okay, it's something inside. Yeah, it's for mommy. Oh, it's here, it's inside. So I went with Fashion Nova because I'm a pretty curvy gal and I know that they make things that are geared for curvy women. So we know wow. their pants. So I got some jeans and I got some shorts. Okay, so here is the first pair of shorts. Super cute, very fitted at the waist and very stretchy in the butt and leg area. I do have pretty big legs um, and a good sized rear. Um, and then my waist is a lot smaller up here. I do have like the mom tummy. So finding shorts that fit right is hard, but these fit really well. And I like that they have the cuff so it keeps the cheeks in and they're very comfortable. I really like them. Okay, first one success. All right, the second pair is the same pair except they're in like a light wash um, jean. So. Same shorts, again, I do have a mom pooch because I am a mom, so, um, and then thick old legs, but they are really stretchy, that's what I like. So they're kind of tight, and they do show some thigh chub, but that will go away with more working out, so. Try the next pair. Okay, this is the third pair, definitely my favorite, very loose in the waist, um, again, super nice and stretchy on the legs. Really like these shorts. Love them. Winning. Okay, so for this last pair of uh, shorts, I think I might need to get a bigger size. As you can see, I have quite a bit of 
um, muffin top going on. I do like the bottom though. I like the ripped detail, but I do need a thicker waist. These are large. I definitely need an extra large just because of this right here. Um, I do have extra mom chubs, so I'm not even gonna hide it from you guys. High-waisted pants, they hide everything. Okay, the last item that I purchased was a pair of jeans, which I really do like them. Um, they're not as stretchy in the legs as I thought they were gonna be, but they are super stretchy in the waist, which I like. So I definitely wanna keep these, and they do push up the tush a little bit, so I do like these. However, I did think I ordered a pair of jeans with no holes in them so I could wear them to work. So I think I might have to return those black ones, possibly these ones, because I'm not really into this color of jean. This wash never looks good on me. So I'm gonna return these and get jeans, and then return these for a bigger size. So I'm gonna go ahead and make Cash and I dinner, and then I'm going to Enjoy the rest of the evening with him. We're gonna snuggle, watch a show, play a little bit, and then we'll just start the day all over tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.